hey guys welcome back my name is edith and today i am super excited because we're preparing for the first official week of homeschool now i have been doing a little bit of teaching here and there but tomorrow is our first official day so today is sunday we're going to do a playroom homeschool area refresh we're gonna clean up we're gonna get ready for tomorrow we're going to do some lesson plans for this upcoming week and you're gonna see all of that in today's video don't forget to comment subscribe and like the video if you're liking what you're seeing um so let's get into it you know we started homeschool this week but we doing only a little bit of work but next week we're gonna do a little bit more work okay so you know how we do letter of the week yep. i'm gonna let you pick the letter you want to work on next week wait, wait i'm doing these two. yeah we could do we can start doing those two how how you find all of these um they were in your other bins, your play bins. What's the alphabet? Oh, right here. So I want you to pick the letter you want to do next week. So, I'm going to go through them, and you tell me which one you want to do. B? That one next week. You don't want to look at all of them? Oh, yeah, I'm going to look at all of them. Okay. All right, so, B... A, F, we kind of know F already, so I don't know if I want to do F. D, E, we know E, so I'm going to put that to the side. C, C G, G, H, H I, I, K, J, J K, K, L, M, M N, N, O, P, Q, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Okay, so I don't. I don't. Yeah. I don't want to do F because I feel like we've done F and you know it. A little bit I don't want to do E I don't want to start with those the ones that you know I don't want to do X because I feel like there's not a lot of words that we use all the time with X I don't want to use Y or Z okay so base let me show you this is what we have here Ooh. so she's gonna get to pick which one she wants to do next week so pick a letter that you want to do next week, and then I'll do the lesson plan around that. Hmm. I'm gonna do O next week. You wanna do O? Okay, okay. So next week we're gonna do O. Show them. Can you tell me why you wanna do O? Because um, I feel like it is gonna be um, a little bit too hard. O? You said it's feel. You feel like it's gonna be a little bit too hard? Yeah, because whatever. Because whatever I don't know. Anymore. And I forget how it is. And I forget what it is. Okay, well, you do know O, but we can do it next week. Just so we can start the, the, the homeschool year a little bit relaxed. Yeah, so we're going to do O next week. Let's put, I'm going to put the rest of these away. And then um, next week, you get to pick another letter, okay? Okay. All right. That's a good lollipop? <laughs> okay. If you're looking for a planner, I have found the perfect one at Walmart. It's organized by Happy Planner. I love the layout of the month as well as the week. You will love this planner. I've been looking at so many and this is the perfect one for me. I would definitely recommend. I'm one of those people that hate writing things in the planner and then having to erase it or cross it out so i'm using an index card just to break down the week before i permanently put it in my planner i am writing the letter of the week which you saw she chose o as the letter of the week monday through friday and then i am going to break down the different 
curriculum we're going to be getting done for the week. So here I am looking at this binder. It's a whole bunch of assignments or worksheets that I have printed out. This is all have been free. Just worksheets I found in Pinterest or Google. And I want to incorporate these worksheets as something that she can get done maybe at the beginning when we are about to start homeschool. So this is something that I'm going to use. I'm going to take out the worksheets that are related to the letter of the week. And I'm going to put them in a bin that I call the morning bin. She'll be able to go into that bin in the morning, pick out an assignment that she would like to do, which would usually like with these worksheets involved a dot marker she just has to look for all the o's i think it's something that would be interesting and fun for her to do especially with not having to write it's just looking for the o and dotting it i also have these other worksheets that are cutouts i purchased some scissors for her to use so i'll let her cut it out glue it i think it's a fun activity to also do Because we're doing reading here on Tuesday, because we're reading this on Tuesday, I'm not going to add another assignment where we're reading, so I'm going to switch this for Wednesday. So we're going to do math, this is considered math. Um, we're gonna do math page six, six and seven basically, six and seven on Wednesday, Thursday, it's simple, she just has to match the um, size of the bears to the size of the chair, so these two pages we will do on Thursday. So this is math, eight and nine. Friday, I want to have it available in case we fall behind, like if we have to go out somewhere and we miss that day. So 
I'm also trying to get her into a routine where she has a daily schedule that we follow. So I might add these pages. It's really simple, simple pages. Um, to Friday. So Friday here, I'm gonna put math 10 and 11. These are the pages we're going to do. Um, Monday, we're going to do something fun related to Labor Day. So um, it, I will introduce the O to her somehow. Um, Tuesday, we have these assignments. We're not gonna do math. Wednesday, we're gonna do the two booklets. We're gonna do Smart Start Math, read, read and Write, as well as Spell and Write. And then as you saw here, I took out these worksheets and I'm gonna put it in her morning bin, just like a morning starter to get her excited to get school started. So these are just going to be some activities in that bin. There's also some other books, um, fun books that she can do in that bin, but she'll be able to choose between which one she wants to get done for the week. Any leftovers, I will just put back in the folder and um, we'll just use for review. This is my first time planning, so yeah, I think it went well. I'm about to sit down and just look for, for some activities here. Um, this is going to be my first time using a lesson planner or a book to actually, oops, sorry guys, to actually write it down. As you can see, I love this because it does have a subject class section. So I'm going to put the names of the books here and then what I'm going to assign for that from those particular books for the week. Obviously, Saturday and Sunday is out. We're not doing school. We still gonna learn, but it just won't be in the books. We're, we're gonna have more of a fun weekend, whether that includes field trips, arts and crafts. I am going to add arts and crafts, or so my hope is to add arts and crafts every day for her. So we'll figure out what we're gonna do with that. I'm also gonna do some research on what we can do with arts and crafts. And then there's just another section here of notes and memos as well as priorities. So yeah, I'm just write down what I wrote on here. And take it from there. I'll show you guys once I'm done writing it out. Okay guys, so this is a perfect example. My daughter just saw these activities and she wanted to do it now. It's literally 10 o'clock. Um, she wants to do these now, so I'm going to let her. Um, why not? So I'm gonna let her do this and then we're gonna get ready for bed. Okay guys, so this is what I have. Sorry for the noise in the background. Okay, so I ended up switching the two readings. Um, the where I showed you the math required a reading of a little passage, and then we have one of the other books that required a reading. I feel like she needs to read the story first to be able to understand the big and small um, items for the different size bears. So we're gonna do the reading first for that, and then I switched up the reading. Um, you're probably confused. Let me just show you real quick. So it's page six, let me see, here. I think we should do the reading first, on the first day, and then on the second day, we start doing the matching of the different objects. And then I switched this, where we're gonna do the reading for this book on the second day. Oh God, sorry guys. So here. This reading we're gonna do on the second day, which is on Wednesday. Monday again is Labor Day, so we're gonna do something a little bit different, a little bit uh, more fun, I guess. So we're gonna leave this one for Wednesday, do this reading for the math on Tuesday, so that the sequence is according to how she should be learning it. And this one we will do on Wednesday. It's still a fun activity, I'll be reading it. You can also listen to the track 
Um, so, but I'll be reading it out loud and then she'll be coloring the pictures while I read it or she'll wait till I'm done reading it. Not sure how we're gonna do that. So now, <clears throat> I did add a section for read aloud here and arts and craft here. Usually I connect the arts and craft to whatever read aloud we are doing for the day. Um, at the moment I only have this book in our, in our library that starts with O, Owen. Um, it's about little Owen and his blanket. So I'm thinking maybe for the arts and craft, I'm not sure yet, I should get some fabric from the dollar store and let her create her own blanket. Um, let her cut it out and do whatever it is that she wants to it. I think that would be a fun idea, but I am not sure at the moment. So this is the book that we're gonna be reading. Um, maybe this is something we could do on Monday because it is Labor Day. Um, but I did wanted to I did want to do something regarding Labor Day. I'm not sure yet. This is me just for the first time planning and thinking out loud to you guys. So yeah, I don't know. But I do know I want to read this book this week. Just because it relates to the letter to the number blah, to the letter O. And I'm gonna find some more books. I'm probably gonna do some requests to hold at the library and go from there okay guys see you in a bit Okay, so as you can see, okay. I love it. I love how it came out. I'll be able to stand here and go through the alphabet right when we start in the morning and then introduce her to the letter of the week can even have her look for the letter of the week here. Um, it seems kind of tall, but maybe I'll get like a pointer that she'll be able to use. This, I want to put up here. But I don't want to make any holes, so I'm trying to wait to get some command hooks. But I think I'm being impatient. Um, I don't even know what I did with the screws. But yeah, I would like to put this up here. I'm gonna see if I can find the screws. If I can, I'm gonna just put it up here instead of waiting to get some command hooks. I'm gonna get it done with.